Now that we've located summits in Vermont, let's make some point symbols that we can use to show their locations. This video will show you how to draw simple symbols and then use the symbols panel to store them. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a symbol for the summits. And a traditional symbol is a little, uh, a little triangle. And so we're going to come over here to the polygon tool, select that, and then zoom in on the area where the summit of Mount Mansfield is. Now if we click and drag on the poly using the polygon tool, you'll see it's giving us a hexagon. We'd really like it to give us a triangle, and the polygon tool can draw a polygon with any number of sides. Um, to change the number of sides, you just use the up and down arrows on the keyboard, and it will give you more or less sides. So we're going to go all the way down to three sides using the down arrow. So now we have this triangle. I'm still dragging on that mouse button. And then if I hold the shift key while I'm drawing this, it will snap that triangle so that it's square to the bottom edge of the page. So now I've got it about the right size, and I'm just going to release my mouse button, and you see we've got a triangle with a black stroke and no fill in it. If we zoom back out on the page, you can see it's probably a little bit large. So I'm going to get the selection tool, grab that triangle, and make it a little bit smaller. And I'm actually going to make the stroke weight a little bit smaller as well so that it, it's just got a one point stroke. So that could, that's a good mountain symbol for us to start with. Now let's come over here and grab the symbols panel. It's the button here with the club on it. And if we open that, we see that we don't have any symbols yet. But all we need to do to make one is drag that triangle into the symbols panel. It'll ask us if we want to name the symbol. Sure, I'll name it mountain symbol. Um, and it'll ask us about a, uh, a type of symbol and a registration. Uh, the, it's good to have the registration at that center point. The type really doesn't matter. This is really only for if you're exporting this graphic to a different program um, that it would matter if it's a, a movie clip type. And so we'll just leave that as the default. We'll hit OK. And now you can see that there's this triangle symbol that uh, is up here in the, in the panel. Now say that we wanted to put more of these symbols, which we do for the other mountains. All we have to do is then drag that symbol out of the panel and onto those intersection points of the guides. And we now have symbols for, uh, for Mount Mansfield, for Camel's Hump, for Mount Allen, and Mount Abe. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn off those mountain guides so they're no longer in our way. Uh, I just realized that we, because we had Mount Ellen selected as a layer, we put all of our symbols in that layer as well. So before we turn off any of our guides, I'll make a new layer. Call this Mountain Symbols. And then I can hold shift to select all of those and drag them right up and out into Mountain Symbols piece of cake, and now I can turn off mountain guides and we still have our, our symbols left over. Now it seems to me like these symbols are still a little bit too large, and I might, more traditionally, these triangles are solid rather than having that white fill like that. So I'm going to edit those symbols simply by double clicking on the symbol example there in the, uh, in the symbols panel. I can zoom in on it. And let's just make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to center it on that center point there, which is still still the center point for the symbol. And then I'm going to just swap the stroke and the fill. So right now it has a black stroke and no fill. If I hit that little double arrowed line, it will swap it so that it has no stroke and a black fill. And now you can see that I'm in this symbol editing uh, in this symbol editing mode right here where I'm editing mountain symbol. If I just click the back arrow there, I'll go back to my regular artboard and I can zoom out. And you can see that not only has the symbol in the symbols panel been updated, but all the instances of that symbol have also been updated. So we now just have these little black, uh, these little black cones. You can play around with any type of symbol you'd like for those, um, but that's just an example of the, the sort of symbol you could use for mountains and a way that it's very easy to, uh, to have a, a lot of symbols of the same type on your artboard and, and edit them and have them update all at once.